on the radio. The one radio, the one radio. The one radio, the one radio. O Diyos, aming Ama, ang lahat ng nilalang ay marapat na sumamba sa iyo. Higit sa iyong mga biyaya, sinasamba ka namin dahil ikaw ay ikaw. Lumalapit kami sa iyo, dakilang tagapaglikha, nagsusumamo at humihingi ng kapatawaran. Kami ay nagkulang at nagkasala. Patawarin mo kami sa katigasan ng aming mga puso. Turuan mo kami at dalhin sa inyong kalooban. Tingnan mo kami ng may awa at kahabagan. Hilumin mo po ang aming bayan, ang aming mga mahal sa buhay, kaibigan, kapitbahay, karatig bayan. Ganon din ang aming mga kaaway sa pandemyang kinahaharap namin sa COVID-19. Isama niyo na rin ang mga may sakit sa iba't ibang karamdaman. Panginoon, balutin mo kami ng inyong kalwalhatian. Itago mo kami sa lilim ng inyong mga pakpak laban sa anumang kapahamakan o wala sa oras na kamatayan. Kristo, ang tinapay ng buhay, alalahanin niyo po ang mga namumuno sa aming bansa ang mga ilaw at haligi ng bawat tahanan at mga kawani na nagtatanggol sa aming siguridad at mga frontliners. Batid mo, Panginoon, ang mga dinaraanan at bawat ganap sa aming buhay. Espiritong banal, aming tanggulan at gabay, imulat ang aming mga mata at ipakita si Jesus ang Panginoon at tagapagligtas ang nag-iisang katotohanan at tanging daan tungo sa Ama. Wala nang iba. Purihin ka, o aming Diyos. Ang presensya mo ay tunay na biyaya ng aming buhay. Ito ang aming samot panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus, kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng kasalanan ng mundo. Amen.
Walang kasing saya ang Paskong Pinoy. Dumaan man ang problema at pandemya, kayang-kayang lampasan. Basta't nagdadamayan at nagmamahalan. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko dito sa V81 Radio, South Manila. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits! O oh, Pinoy, panalo Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y Mapapakinggan The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the program anchors and producers and do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this station. Buckle up and get ready, set, and go! Join Sports Girl anchor Nicole Ganglani as she dives deep into the lives of athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from the sports industry. Broadcasting live from V81 Radio South Manila, this is Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio South Manila. Hello mga ka-sports tropa, this is your sports girl anchor Nicole Ganglani welcoming you to our show where we talk all things sports and fitness. Buckle up, get ready, set, and go! We're here to put the spotlight on different athletes from different sports to hopefully inspire you to be better not just today but every day. So our first guest today are cyclists who transformed their love for cycling into a delivery business. They are an embodiment of what we millennials say when we say we're innovative, resourceful, and determined. Let's all hear it from what from the co-founders of White Helmets Co, Daryl Montehermoso and Maggie Yusai. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hello. So before I ask you guys and get d- dive deep into your cycling career slash entrepreneur business <laughs> careers, uh, I'd want to ask, did you guys cycle on the way to the studio? You know <laughs> oh, you guys cycled. Wow. How long was it? How long was your journey? Uh, it was less than 30 minutes. It's really near. 30 long. minutes. From where to where? Well, we live in Pasig. So, ah, that was yeah. going. Yeah. Makati. Yeah. Wow. Di naman traffic. <laughs> no, no. It's a weekend, so it's easy. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's hear for let's hear your cycling. I know. So to start, I'd like to ask, how did you both get into cycling? I know you guys have it have have different stories. So let's get your individual stories. Let's, let's start. I want okay. to say <laughs> um, Okay, so um, I've been into triathlon for seven years now. Triathlon, wow. So um, okay. since the pools are closed and I can't, the races are canceled, uh, we just decided to get into cycling now since it's the only thing we can do nowadays. So um, since, the, since the pandemic happened, uh, commutes are really major sketch na siya. So like, yes, yes. Um, I had my dad send my bike here to Manila. Okay. And, yeah, I persuaded her to buy a bike. So okay. that's <laughs> that's how I started. Yeah. So if I was, I'm not mis- sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> You're not, yeah, and then the other one, she's not forced. I'm not forced. I'm not forced. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Daryl, you didn't know how to bike at first, right? Uh, well, I didn't know how to ride a road bike. 
Kasi it's a lot a road bike. Iba siya eh, ba? So, You'd be surprised. What makes a road bike different compared to the usual bike? Um, well, I started off with a mountain bike. So, this, ano lang ako eh, hindi ako, hindi siya for commute. I was just a kid. Like, ikot-ikot lang sa... Sa village, village ganon, oo. Um, sa road bike, ang nibis ng bulong. And then ah, okay. this, we're using it for actual commute. So, medyo pressure na ingat. And mas, ano siya eh, mas flimsy in a way. Yeah, kind of. Like, for example, if you're using a mountain bike, you can just go straight through the potholes and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, 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 uh. With a road bike, you just have to be extra careful because the tires are thin. So The tires what, are thin. Eh. So, is it advisable to commute with a road bike or um, kailangan yung uh, when you commute, dapat road bike gamit mo or can you use like a mountain bike or something else? Does it uh, matter? No, not really. You just... Um, it doesn't matter. It's a matter of preference, yeah. So, Daryl, you started with ano, road bike at first or... I started with a mountain bike. But for bike commute, now that I'm older, yeah. I'm just using a road bike. <laughs> how was how was that for you? How was the learning process like? Was it something na sobrang hirap to start, or eventually, since maruno ka na mag mountain bike before, nagawa mo naman, you picked it up easily. Uh, I would know how to bike, pero since like I've shared earlier, iba yung dating ng road bike, so parang she still had to teach me. How to do ah. like, kailangan yung saddle mo, it's a lot higher. Kasi uh-uh. that, yung focus ko, dapat yung pa ako nakaapak si ground. But then somehow, uh-uh. if you're cycling, if hindi tama yung saddle placement, yung mga ganun uh-uh. tipo. So, so, sorry, dif- go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, go ahead, go ahead. It wasn't difficult, pero it, it needed time to be comfortable. Time talaga. So she taught you this during the pandemic. Yes, ma'am. How is that like? Lalo na sa unang uh, couple of weeks ng pandemic, syempre parang everyone's super strict pa, like uh, how we went to uh, ECQ and stuff. How did um, Maggie teach you, Daryl, to like really road bike during that very uh, strict time? Well, it started off inside the our condo's parking lot. <laughs> ah, sa Pasig. Uh, no, sorry. Long story. <laughs> we just, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, I let her bike inside the parking lot first just so she can get used to the balance and everything since okay. she may not have a bike. So, you, um, okay. I taught her how to change the tire, how to do this, how to do oh, that. Oh, wow. Yes. So, <laughs> really <good. laughs> So, Maggie, ano, you've been biking before pa. Like, before the pandemic happened, you've, you'd been biking to work ganon, often. Um, no. Uh, I'm, I'm from Bacolod. So, yeah. um, I did all my stuff there. And then I just came here to work. So, oh, okay. um, nag-reunite lang kami ulit ng biking when the pandemic happened. Because I, I don't want to commute anymore. I don't want to use Grab. Or, yeah, but, totoo. Kasi... Parang it's easier to contract the virus, no? Yeah. Oh, your, yeah. So uh, I've done research, kasi, on how the uh, how Manila can be turned into a biking community bef- uh, over the past few months. Parang lately we're not a certified biking commun biking country yet, kasi we don't have much biking lanes prior to the pandemic, and then. Um, medyo the traffic situation parang we're very car slash um, vehicle dominated so how did you guys like pick it up, learn through um, knowing na parang we're not a really super developed bike commute country yet um, we're just actually cowboys <laughs> like um, Cowboy. uh, the first thing that I told her um, on her first uh, commute alone. Yeah. Oh, wow. Where, where was your first commute alone? Uh, to this video. <laughs> to here. To here. Yeah. From Pasig to there. Yeah. yeah. 
I just told her to be brave, you know, because um, oh, yeah. if you're unsure, like if you're not confident with your biking, there's a lot chance that you're going to get an accident first. Uh-uh. You always yes. have to. So, uh, you guys have been biking and then um, from there, you kayo to open a business or slash like a courier service. I'd like to ask, how did that um, idea come up? Like, how how did you guys say, oh, nga, no, we can do this, we can do this. Like, how did it, you know, form? What was the root? Uh, at the start of the pandemic, um, everything was closed down. Jobs yeah. were on hold. Everything was yeah. on and then what we noticed though is that there are frontliners and a part of them are the delivery guys. So from there, since hindi na kami kumikita kasi mm-hmm. no work and yeah. may cuts na sa salary, parang umiisip na kami ng anong, anong pwedeng madiscarded namin just so we can earn even a little bit. And then yeah. we started to do applications to the existing delivery platforms but uh, yeah. we never really got a reply from them i think you did uh-uh. uh, i did three months after <laughs> so i was like uh, what no. i would what Com- <laughs> <laughs> what companies are this if you mind me asking food panda food panda <laughs> uh, food panda did, did you guys apply to grab or lala move or food panda lang oh, food, food panda, panda. So, nag apply kayo sa food panda, pero no reply. No reply to me. Late na sila. But I kind of understand, kasi um, you also have to state sa application if you're working or not and stuff. I think they're prioritizing those who like really. Ah, uh, okay. Get. Yeah. yeah. Get naman. Yeah. I guess that's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, so, when you guys didn't get the reply, how long were you waiting for the reply from food panda? Quite some time. Months. Months. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, naghintay talaga kayo. Pero no avail. Oh, yeah, wala, wala. Uh, okay. And then, uh, that's when you thought na, ah, sige, let's open our own thing. Ganon. Yeah. yeah. Bigla ang siya. <laughs> Hindi siya planado talaga. Yung talaga. Parang, we've always, at the back of our heads, we had na, we, we can do this career thing with our bikes. But, yeah, yeah. Just needed a push, so biglang one day, <laughs> one day I was like, "Oh, I'm really bored, but I want to go out and bike." <laughs> so um, I asked. One of this is during ECQ. Yes. During... Oh wow! Okay. ECQ. Yung, GCQ. Yung best trick, na, yeah. When everything else was open, na, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. At this point, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, but so it was GCQ. You guys went out and then. Um, I was actually working that time, and then one of our uh, co-founders, Seth, uh, he's been doing pasabais now already, or like, hmm. uh, sa kanya lang. So then I asked him how it worked, and he was like, "You do this and you do that," and I was like, "I should make a rate card for myself." So I asked the group, I'm like. Guys, si no gusto mag delivery. You guys want to do this? You want to pasabay? And everyone was mm. like, hey, make rate cards for us too. So I started making the things that you saw. Yeah. yeah. And she posted it and it went off. Nag viral siya. <laughs> That's so nice. That's, yeah. yeah. Oh, you mentioned na you asked your, some ad- other people, are they your friends or actual uh, cyclists na kilala mo talaga from uh, mm. during your before but how did you meet them uh well before i'm, I'm not really a cyclist i play football so i oh, you're uh, into football okay yeah. nice. so i played football before and since all games were canceled and then she got me into cycling the friend yelling kasi yung mga ka football ko kasi nung ecq all we did was play pubg <laughs> the mobile <laughs> game so pubg <laughs> really great venue to talk and bond so yeah. from yeah. there from they found out na oh si Maggie pala nagpa-bike yan tara ano pag umokay na bike tayo and then I didn't have a bike so like oh get, see, go go ano enjoy so parang what happened was 
eventually they forced not of forced course. eventually they were like okay we'll help you. you yeah we'll yeah. help you get uh, ang pagdako sa bike mo para lang sumama ka sa amin when things are okay na so the i got the bike um the four of us it, 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 it was just the four of us and then next thing we know most of the football friends that we have um see the lex um he's also a part of the uh white helmet he has a bike so parang every morning of saturdays or sundays 6 a.m we would do rounds at the okada loop or at the moa loop uh are those biking bike certified places to go to here in the philippines um it used to be but it uh, used to be uh, but now they closed it down because yeah. there there's a uh, COVID, covid care facility yeah but yeah. before it used to be talaga it used to be open and it was so nice kasi sobrang kudrod that ah 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 yeah i think would so yeah from so, there we would just like do it as often as we would and then nagbud na kami Ah, get. So, I'd like to ask, how does it feel like to open a business out of your passion? And um, based on what you guys said uh, a couple of minutes ago, parang it just came, right? It happened organically. Uh, how does that feel? Like, how from your passion talaga, how, how did that make you guys feel? It's actually really exciting. And... Um, Especially when you're with people who have the same hobbies as you do. Yeah. So, parang mm-hmm. whenever we do deliveries, it doesn't feel like, oh, ang bigat ng dinadala ko. This package is so heavy. I have to bike this. No, we actually really enjoy it because yeah. all of us really, really like the bike. So, doing the deliveries, it's it's actually a competition. <laughs> it is a lot of us. So, um. <laughs> Yun, it's it feels good to make something out of something you love. Um, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, yeah. Especially for you, Daryl, since uh you mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago na parang this was something that you were just encouraged to do, especially road biking, the bus. So how how fulfilling did that make you did that feel? Um uh, I guess Growing up, like really into sports, parang yeah. you actually have to find something, not really a replacement, but something to keep you going. Because yeah. during the lockdown, before biking, we would work out um together. But it's mm. so hard to push yourself up or to have time to have the motivation. Yeah. For it. It's already in the. Uh, and iba iba yung effect ng lockdown so when you get into biking para oh my wow freedom so parang ganun yung feeling ko when i got into it so the competitive spirit that added into the ingredient of white helmet parang yun yung masaya kasi parang every week um, we have strava so every week we have this leaderboard of some sort na oh wow that's so competitive <laughs> Long distance that you did for the week, para yun yung trip namin. So parang ikaw ah ah ganon pa lang. Okay, so, yeah, oh I'll be number one this week. Ah ganon yung trip namin. So who's winning? Uh, who's winning so far? Right now, Nico. Really? Ah, uh, you're ni- How you many know, are you guys? Currently, there's six of us. The founders. Ah, okay. And yeah. then. We're currently screening our probationary riders because we. Oh we, wow! My, my naga apply na. That's so nice. There were really a lot oh, of apply. Like a lot. Oh yeah. yeah. Like more than a hundred. Five. That's awesome. Five hundred. <laughs> wow. We didn't awesome. start with them. How did you get applicants? Did you post it on your page or? Yeah, I posted the graphic that we need more bikers, and then it blew That's up. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. what's your answer to them? Parang conditioning test. Like, how do you? Uh, what are the credentials to join your collective? We look at their average weekly distance because that's part of a question that we ask. We also ask what bike they use, and then. 
sa amin, it's more, kasi we're not really a business business per se. Parang, we, we just, we're doing this because it's just an avenue for us to earn. And mm. we want this to be like a community-based service na dapat we can trust each other in the collective. Or yeah. the public can trust them in. So we really talk to them. We require them to have rights with us, short or long. That's where we start. And then we're trying them out na rin mag deliveries. Um, uh, we have partner businesses like Lucha Play yeah. and Untitled Drip Coffee. Yes. So from there, we test out the probationaries if they can do mini deliveries for them. Yes. So you guys mentioned um, uh, you guys doing deliveries and stuff. I'd like to ask, How's your internal process like? Um, how do you get people to call you guys and do a specific delivery? Do they just uh, message you on Facebook or you know, how do they like reach out to you guys? Um, we usually get our bookings. Uh, when it started, it was all from Facebook because they saw the viral post that Daryl did. Yeah. Yeah, and then... We actually got like uh, mga suki na clients. So the brand, the one she mentioned, Kanina? Untitled Drip. Untitled Drip, Lucha, Lucha. And there are actually um, other oh, businesses course. that want to partner with us. Pa. So like we have our suki clients and then yung mga hindi. Well, they just message through our page. Na lang. And then mm. once there's a booking, we forward the booking to the group chat so that everyone can see yeah. Then they just call dibs on the delivery. So yeah. right away naman siya, is it like an instant uh, when someone needs something delivered, you're on it na or it takes some time? There are deliveries that need like instant stuff. But like mer- mer- usually naman, it's usually a day before mm. na siya. Ah, and- okay. So scheduled siya. Mm, so, at the moment, how many cyclists are in your collective with the new applicants? Six, seven. Wait, wow. Quick math. Math. Wow. <laughs> You've lost count. Wow. That's, a, that's good, di ba? Not 12, 12, 15. 12 na kayo. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys are from different backgrounds talaga. Can yeah. you talk about, sorry, can you talk about some of your teammates then? Like how, besides PUBG and all, how do you guys like come together as a group? And uh, how how did that bond for cycling really encourage encourages you guys to keep this going? We usually meet up for coffee. <laughs> Okay. Or some are, are like, for example, Patrick. He's not working as of the moment. So like, whenever he's bored, he just bikes to us yeah. for free. And then magaya na lang sa mga iba na, oh guys, we're going to this place. Who wants to go come go. with us? You know, it's we usually bond through casual cycling lang. Mm, okay. So when you guys go casual cycling. Uh, where do you guys go? Like, uh, what's your normal casual cycling hangout? Um, it's usually city rides eh, within the metro. If may mm. mag na magkape or may magpapaayos ng bike, every, yeah. it's 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 a group affair. <laughs> Everyone comes with you, <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah. Mm. So, uh, how like where's the farthest you guys have gone together? Um, not everyone because it goes on our long rides. Yeah. Especially yung fixie boys namin. Because it's hard to bike long distances with one gear lang eh, fixed gear. So um whenever we have long rides, yung sumasama lang is yung mga naka road bike. And the farthest is uh, we did we did the Cavite loop. Oh was, wow, Cavite from where? Pasig. That's, that's so far. I'm, is it like really? How long did that take you guys? Uh, for me, we started because different places. Eh. We just uh, made Sundo the other bikers. 
but uh, pick a points. Uh, so that was for me. That was one hundred and sixty kilometers. And how how long was that for you? Five hours. Five hours. Wow. Hindi ka ba na like five hours straight, or do you at least like stop over or like? Um, we stop to eat and rehydrate. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I see. So you guys do that together often as a group. Uh, right now, because of the rainy season, parang everyone's having a hard time waking up. Yeah. <laughs> so wala muna. Yeah. Mm. Casual kape kape or Paris or C C Sarada. That's that's what we can do. Like mga post work affairs. Yeah. So what often do they? Do people ask you to deliver? Like, what are some of the products they tell you to deliver? Can you name a few of your services? I started, my first delivery was food from some kitchenette in Pasig. That was mm. order ng food, this tagamakati siya. So it was kind of interesting. And then the rest of it, I, well, my deliveries are more minimal. I'm the more salo if merong na aberya, may na accident, or if walang no choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's when I come in. What for you, what for you? Uh, it's usually for me, I try delivering coffee. Oh, laptop. <laughs> oh, she delivered a laptop. I love that. Wow. <laughs> Wait, so how does that go? Like, kung are someone tells you to deliver something as heavy as a laptop. Hopefully, hindi naman ganon ka heavy, no? Uh, is there like a like a place where you get to put it at the back of your bike, or how do you carry it, or how do you hold it with you as you travel? We use backpacks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I use backpacks. Yeah. Anything carry it, so that's why I slipped it in. But some of us, like for example, Patrick, Seth, Miko. Um, most uh, the three of them are usually the ones who get the heavy deliveries. The mga super like, bikes mismo did they deliver? Yeah, they deliver bikes too, <laughs> like the bike frame, the frame. Yeah. Like, what other what other big deliveries do they do besides bike and bed sheets? Like really thick bed sheets. Wow. How's that like for them? They're strong. <laughs> they're strong. They're strong. They're strong. <laughs> Very dependable men. Yeah. They, they can handle it. They can handle it. Because we would be comfortable enough to say, na, Ay, um, for example, if someone would say, Can you deliver this canned goods um, pack? So we would say, ah, But I can refer you to this guy because this guy can definitely do it. But that's the system we have. We can say no. We are very comfortable with. Just working how we can because we want to be trustworthy about it. Yeah. So you guys deliver food, bikes, um, <laughs> bed sheets. What else can you not do? Like, <laughs> are there <laughs> items that you guys say no to? Maybe soon. <laughs> we'll work on it. Um, <laughs> As long as it's legal, yes. it's a legal item. It's not anything legal. <laughs> legal. Yeah. yeah. So, Maggie, um, I'd like to tap into your triathlon career. Lang, you had mentioned na the reason why you got into um biking or the one of the inspirations behind White Helmet Collective is because of your triathlon career, and that's where you learned how to bike, right? I'd like to ask, um, how long was your triad? Is it still it's still ongoing, right? I'd like to think so. Your triathlon. Um, I've been on hiatus for a year, cause uh, a year been, na. Yeah, a year or more. Okay, but prior to the year of hiatus, um, what tournaments did you compete in? Did you compete in Ironman tournaments? Um, the most recent one I did was actually a half Ironman. It's mm, the where was that? Too big? Uh, Thailand. Ah, Thailand. Wow. Did you represent the country? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. 
Um, it was actually a relay race with my parents. So the three of us did it together. Uh, I swam. Uh, I was a swimmer before. Uh, my dad biked, and then my stepmom ran. So it's a team race. Oh, okay. But yes, yes. Uh, I usually join the individuals. Naman. This is my first relay race. So you're you come from a triathlon family? Yes, you can say that. Yeah. So besides the competition in Thailand, where else did you guys compete? Uh, there's Cebu. Uh, Bohol. Cebu, yeah. No, no, I haven't heard this so week. Yeah, uh, it's mostly in Negros, Occidental or Oriental, and then Cebu, stuff like that. Yung nearby oh. lang ayon. Yeah. How old did you get into triathlon? Oh, 2013. How old was I? Sorry, I forgot to ask you guys. How old are you now? Sorry, how young, pala? Young entrepreneurs. I'm. We're both twenty three. Twenty three. Oh, I'm twenty three too. Nice, nice. Nineteen ninety six represent. <laughs> so in two thousand thirteen, we were. I'd like to say, how old? Ba? fifteen. Yeah. Oh, ganun. So at 15 years old, nagta triathlon ka na. 16, but I used to be a swimmer. That's swimmer. My okay, yeah. Yeah, and, and then nagdevelop lang yung biking at running. Okay. Tapos Daryl, for you naman, it was always football throughout. Uh, I started as a basketball player. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, can't, can't go wrong with basketball. Fell out of love for basketball eventually. Why? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I probably can't play the same as I did as a kid. Yeah. So I started doing futsal in high school. And then when I was um, delivered to Baholand, <laughs> That's when I started learning football. So it, it, it from there it was just football, 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 and then cycling. And then was football something that you've been doing after you graduated or throughout the years? Na? Yeah, parang I had it retained because when I got here, you you don't really stop loving. I guess in general you don't really stop loving a sport that you you built yourself with. I don't know. It. Yeah. Football is my great love, I guess. Yeah, that's so nice to hear. <laughs> what did you compete in football tournaments before? Uh, well, recently, because it's more the open division type, mixed teams, um, corporate. Ah, football. sa Bacolod? Was that uh, from back in? Here na, in Manila na. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Did you, you The football teammates that I have, I compete with them. At... Si Nico, the white helmet people, sila Lex, sila yeah. Big, sila yung mga kasama. Are you guys a team? Are you guys a team? Yeah. And then, Maggie, for cycling naman, since you said that's something you've been doing before pa, uh, did you compete in um bike tournament? Yes. Uh, it was 90 kilometers. It was a team race. Oh. Uh, can you uh ano lang, can you give our audience lang or viewers a preview how far that is or how long it takes to travel ninety meters in a bike? Ninety kilometers. Ninety kilometers, sorry. Uh Pasig to San Pablo Laguna. Oh wow. Yeah. But it was so in, but it north was north to south. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. How, how long did that take you? Sorry. Oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> Basta it was less than, I think it was three hours or four hours. Yeah, something like that. It was an all-women team race, I think. Yeah. Is that like one of your many races? Yes. Ah, uh, wait, no. Um, no, that was actually my only bike race. Because... Before triathlon, talaga so three. It has to be three. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Yeah. Can you talk more about how your background in cycling slash triathlon for Maggie and then for you, naman, Daryl, how football really encouraged you to um, road cycle right now? How did that help you? And now even form a business out of it. Like, how did that prepare you guys? Super luckily, football is a light sport. <laughs> so it's a light great sport. Yeah, it's a really, really great foundation for someone who's relearning how to ride a bike that I'm not familiar with. Uh, and it helps that I have her who's more experienced and she really let me dive into how to take care of my bike, take care of myself when I bike. So football parang more on the fundamentals of the legwork na lang na yun yung sinasabi na tuhod, nasa tuhod <laughs> nasa tuhod na lang yung pagbabay pero eventually Ay, oh, oh. very very heavy siya on the leg muscles no yeah, very, very. but then she would let me like understand na since it's a road bike we are able to shift gears and from there like you just have to understand your bike and understand how to do a proper gear shifting so that your legs wouldn't be as tired so yeah. it's, it's a, that's how it came for me and I just meanwhile you really love biking i'm so sorry i'm a happy girl when I'm on the bike i don't care i recently got into an accident but like the day after oh my I, yeah, <laughs> yeah she got into oh there. no you have a scar where, where was your accident I was, <laughs> I was actually on my way to work when that happened. Yeah. A car how door. Did you handle, how did you handle that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was really angry. I was really angry. Um, I just calmed down when she got there. She called me. Yeah. I was already on my way to work. And luckily, yeah. I wear earphones to like take calls and everything. So but I was at Bonnie. Like going down the Enzo Road, we don't do my own shot. The same boss is you telling me, no, Paris, okay, I got into an accident. So, so from there, when I got there, you eat your name, you get it, you get it, but you pay it. Well, yes, it, it was handled easily, and I just had to. Like understand what happened first, so we eventually took it to the barangays. Had it sorted? Ah, okay. It it was um, okay. actually since we're in this to- topic, Maggie, maybe you can give like some tips and advice, na lang for for our viewers who are cyclists or who plan on sa- road cycling. How do you handle a bike accident? Um, especially especially in the Philippines, where um we're not a one hundred percent bike. Uh, road bike friendly country. Okay. Um, first of all, you have to wear your helmet. That's mm. the rule in our group. You yeah. can't bike without a helmet. Stay at mm-hmm. home. With your helmet. We don't care. Um, second, yeah. I guess Siguro, I learned from my experience that you have to, like, in order for it to go, if, like, example, someone else is involved with your accident. I guess the easiest way to deal with it is to be calm. Yes. Yes, I learned. <laughs> you just have to be calm about it and maybe talk it out. Like, Buti na lang hindi siya hit and run. Oh, kasi ano eh, mabagal. Yun yung funny. Mabagal yung takbo niya. So, you would really know na the vehicle was the one at fault about it. And they were very considerate naman. So, I guess it's one thing that um, people, um, drivers, public transport people should Mm-mm. to be really considerate about everyone. Because we are all trying to get into places. Yeah. Well, same for the commuters then. It's a give and take thing, you know. You have to be careful. But yeah. I guess you can't really be careful enough. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, true. in this country, no. Yeah. How about your other teammates? Um, have they experienced such a uh, unfortunate incident? And if ever, how did they like bounce back from that? Siguro the one I remember is Selects. He was halfway at the lane, parang 500 meters away. 
Tapos nag-touch ko sa amin na, guys, I got into an accident. Yun, hit and run with the motorcycle. So, we always check first the bike. <laughs> Yung tao, mm-hmm. check how's your bike. And then we, we check on the person na, na, kumusta ka? Can you walk? Can you still bike? What do you need? Do you want to pick you up? Do you want to go? We really sort it out first what's happening. And then we take the steps. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. So it really boils down to like knowing the roads well and like having that bravery on the road. Okay, we'll hear more from Daryl and Maggie and their white collective go when we get back. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Connected ka na ba? Para laging updated sa mga bagong shows, promos, trending news, viral videos, events, o patok na OPM hits, just follow us on Facebook at V81 Radio South Manila. Simple lang, itype lang ang letter V81 Radio South Manila. O di ba madali lang? Kaya ilike at follow na! Are you ready to explore a new kind of music? Yung bang kakaiba na hindi mo pa napapakinggan, mga bagong artist? Nagugulat sa inyo sa kanilang awit at tugtugan. <laughs> Discover them, hear them in Napalm Hour. Ang Napalm ay ang new all Pinoy alternative music source na para sa kakaibang musika. Alternative artists and bands all the time. Catch them at Napalm Hour. Mondays through Fridays, 12 noon to 1 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Streaming live on V81 Radio mobile app. Kaya i-download mo na for free. Now na! A spirit-filled song that talks about healing from the Lord Jesus Christ, our great healer. Nasasaktan Kumikirot ang aking puso Hilumin mo awit ng kagalingan at pagsamba by Felsen Hilumin mo ang sukat ng aking puso Digitally available everywhere and here on V81 Radio Bigot paturo po dahil ang ngayon at ang buka Gusto niyo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayon yung October? Pwede ba ang magpakilang? Is that a better left? Kasa mo 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 at tumutok lang tuwing Sunday, 1 p.m. Dito sa Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music source. At mag-i-jam kasama si Ram Martinez, Isotone, at CD and the Year, Sito lang yan sa NAPAM, your new all Pinot alternative music source, exclusively on V81 Radio, South Manila. Now back to Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch with White, Hel- White Helmet Collective founders, Daryl and Maggie. Hi again, we're back. Hi again, guys. Okay, for this naman, I'd like to talk more on the future of your of white collective go. Is this like gonna be your ano na, your a permanent business na? Permanent business. Uh, yeah. or is is it like a quarantine kind of thing? Well, for us, we would like to retain it as more. Hindi, hindi kasi namin siya ma-identify as a business eh. Kasi, kung baga, we're ah, just okay. out people. At the same time, like, okay, if you you follow the rate card, but you give us more, that's really great for us. But it's something that we're doing lang talaga na we have an extra fund to get. And yeah. then, yeah. other than that, it's really more for the cycling. <laughs> Parang ganun yung trip. Namin. So, I guess 
maybe in the future we're very much open for par- for partnerships yeah. for with companies na okay if you can propose something to us or if you want us to create a proposal for our services we'd be game pero we don't really pressure our collective we don't pressure yeah. our collectives to really like depend on this para it's just one of your streams of income but should it be your main parang ganun yung type niya yeah so i mean the fact that you have 500 applicants i'm pretty yeah. sure it's gonna keep go- growing and growing i'm really really happy for you guys so with that lang i'd like to ask uh what are i no pressure to ha it's just you know your I- ideals lang what are your short and long term goals for white helmet collective short term goals I think one of the short-term goals that we want to um, like achieve is to really create a solid team, talaga, na can cater to all all Manila, all of Manila. Because so big, kulang pa kami. Yes. That's the that's the ultimate goal as of the moment. To- the 500 members, kulang pa kayo or uh, 500 uh, applicants? Um. I, I I I I accepted the probationary. Ah, okay. Yeah, we have probationary people as of the moment, and I only accepted them because I got to chat with them personally. So I also want to feel the vibe, <laughs> vibe vibe check. So um, yun. Because it's so hard naman to talk to like five hundred people. Yes. So, yeah. Like, Oh yeah, for sure. Um, grabe. Paano yon? Like, do you all in one day or like separate naman siya? It was, it ran for a week. Na, na, message, message. Yeah. yeah. So, yun. We mostly looked at the distance they did and if yung bike nila na ginagamit, parang real naman ba? Kasi ka-folding bike ko, tas mag we we really wanted to be someone we want to include someone that we know can can be a part of the standard that we have yeah for respect. sure yeah yeah that's fun uh so if your short-term goal is to cater around metro manila what would you say is your long-term goal again no pressure how like to ask that's your long-term goal well, we've actually talked this, it, talked about this in passing now. Um, like, parang, hey, do you see this as a business? Like, with the permits and stuff, you know? So, sabi niya, okay naman. But we really have to, it's 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 a long, it, it's a long journey to yeah. make, but why we want to take it easiest now? So, but, yun yeah. Take it so, one day at a time, ganon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Okay, if we have an investor, we have someone someone that can mentor yeah. us into creating a business, proper business platform for this, sure, we're open for it. But for now, we one day at a time. Shout out to the investors listening to them right now. You know who to call. <laughs> They're there. So, um, so far in the past few months since you guys um, opened this, uh, what has been the biggest highlight? For you so far individually or what is in as a group like what what was like the peak now oh wow we're here like we can't believe this happened um there was actually a major company i can't name ah sure sure yeah reached out to us um big for- time <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this this also gave us an idea of how we're not that prepared yet to yeah. like take on their their proposal proposal because it's a major company and it's a bit scary but knowing that we don't have solid solid platforms, platforms and manual kami. We, we do it traditionally na uy mm. no araw. are you free now can you do this so we can't really commit to it again again that's why Bookings are best done like at least a day before. Because most likely, yeah. 
uh, if you try to book us now mismo, baka meron na palang nakatoka, meron na yeah. uh, unang text sa kanila, ganun. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a that was a that was a nice feeling getting that call from them. Because yeah. it also means that we're actually out also there. Also them, so it's more than one. Um, uh, well, it's a mix of small and nice. that big business. So yeah. So while there are its advantages and like what you guys mentioned highlights, ano naman yung mga challenges or challenge? If there are accidents, that are accidents, Aberia. accidents, and yeah. Tell with the road nowadays, and even if it's not um the type where may isa kang kasama, minsan rin kasi parang your own fault na sumasabit sa 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 bike lane, sa bike lane, yung sumasabit sa bike lane, mga ganon, mga self-inflicted accidents. Yeah, you, you yeah. Really can't avoid it. Eh. Yeah. So, how do you guys train your group members or even those who are in um, probationary status? How do you train them to handle accidents uh, on the road? I guess everyone kasi learn individually. You learn yeah. when you get into one. Yeah, <laughs> you learn when you get into one. Yeah. So, um, Actually, experience is the best teacher, I'd like to say. Like in sports, yeah. it's just... It's yeah. just how it is. You'll only learn when the moment comes. It's not. I mean, you can prepare for it, but the only way you literally know how to handle it fully equipedly is when you're in that situation. So how do you, like, prepare your members for that? Like, do you give them some tips and advice? Well, uh, we just gave a disclaimer to the new ones na parang if you get into an accident, to be honest, we're not a formal business yet will help you out if you get into an accident but you bike at your own risk talaga yeah, there, we don't have insurance wala kami accountability yeah. as a collective kasi basically this is just a group of friends doing deliveries yeah. we just have a facebook page that's pretty much it uh, it's one of the things that we have to smoothen out in the future if yes. you want to branch out and expand this thing you know? part of the long term goals yeah long term goals so now that we've talked about your long-term, short-term goals and your challenges and your opportunities, paano naman yung, how do you guys plan to grow your business for the next couple of months? I'd like to hope na it's still going to be an ongoing thing for the next, you know, few years, okay. decades. <laughs> we're just starting. So we're just starting. We're starting. Yeah. How do you plan to grow from there? Um. Well... I guess we just have to keep reaching out with uh we have we just have to keep reaching out to the small businesses. Yeah. We like so that we really appeal to them talaga eh. Kasi um a lot of the like for example in my Instagram sellers have online shops. Yeah. But, Dami noon, Dami nila na yun, no? Na, that's yeah. our market. That's our market. Yeah. So yun, um everyone wants to tip it din naman, di ba, when they're shipping out stuff because shipping can be really expensive especially sa mga established na na mga couriers I guess. Yeah. yeah yeah so yun um they're actually pretty happy na they found us or we found them because ang lahi na nasa save nila sa kanan ng business so um if we like make partnerships with them okay you promote our service we promote yours it's a yun yun, community building, community based service. Yeah. So when you reach out to this SMEs or um Instagram like businesses on social media and whatnot, do you have specific standards? Like um how how do they qualify to be your partners? Like is there like how do you reach out to them? Parang how do you find them? We actually just messaged them. <laughs> it, it's oh, really okay. yeah. That's like, how it is, yeah. Really casual. Apparently, hey, we're a group of delivery people. With I see that you have your business. business. If you want to tip it on the rates, you can ask us because we can do same day deliveries and stuff like that. Or if you love Mama Earth, you want to lessen the carbon footprint. You want to get a selling point. Oh, like selling point. Kami, wala kami. Carbon footprint, Mashato. Yes. 
Yes. Uh, how many have, ano naman, how many have responded? Like, uh, they respond quite often or, ano. So, I'd like to imagine na ang dami niyong message like, a lot of accounts. Ganon. Yeah. yeah. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. When you're free there. Yeah, kasi, um, those businesses na who agreed to, like, hire or, like, available service already, parang constant naman yung flow of deliveries na binibigay nila sa amin. So, kaya nga we're trying to grow pa more, uh, especially with, especially by adding more members. Kasi, may, parang may time, may face talaga na sobrang dami na we can't handle just six of us. Yeah. Everyone's busy, everyone's That's doing... good. Them. When was this? Recently lang? Or August recently lang? Really boomed August kasi... When oh god. Edge, yeah, when, yeah. So um like like calm down yourself for a bit because we're also letting the probationary riders yeah. do the deliveries. It's part of their initiation the test. The tests. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um so besides White Helmet Co., do you have other business plans or even opportunities in mind that involve cycling also? Hmm. Uh we Oh, but this is actually like on top of our heads, lang. Like, parang it's 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 amusing. It's amusing. Ah, music. I'm what? Sorry. Uh, yung one of our musings, lang, na parang kuma- nagkakape kami. Oi, why don't we build a bike shop? <laughs> oh, so oh wow. Why not? I mean, if you can build a delivery service out of like you know your passion for it, go open a bike shop. The running joke is because he has the he has an expensive bike. <laughs> so a running joke is yung bike niya. Yeah, with triathlete yan. <laughs> Ganon talaga pag triathlete. <laughs> yung pet namin, yung papraktisa namin na sigit so, nanggalin natin yung parts tapos ibalik natin ulit. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> so yun, um, coffee shop Coffee like a bike thing going on. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Or maybe like a pit stop for bikers who don't know how to change your tires. Oh, we can change your tires. She can change your tires. Are you already are you already on it or it's a foreseeable plan lang? Foreseeable. A foreseeable plan. <laughs> but we we have to really talk about it because we don't know how it's gonna pan out. Maybe mm. we're gonna like a joke or something. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's 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 one of our oh, coffee table talks. Coffee table talks. Coffee table talks. So besides opening a shop and like being quote unquote the motor light or repair service, <laughs> do you have other plans in mind, pa? With cycling, I mean, it's a it's a big world out there. We'll eventually come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> So, since we're in the topic of bikes and bike shops, I think Maggie, you'd be pro at answering this. Uh, what's the best road bike for uh, people to use, especially those who want to get into bike commute or cycling in general? Well, I would say if you're just starting out, is to pick out the type of frame that, that's not really marupok. <laughs> um, not really what? Sorry. Because <laughs> yeah. um, there's different materials used for bike frames. Like, for example, there's the alloy, steel, carbon. Um, you just have to get a sturdy bike na pang simula mo, pang start mo siya. You can't really, I guess, if you are if you have the budget, you can get a carbon bike, which is really light and it's easier to carry around. But, um, I guess if well you're starting out, just get a just get a sturdy, nice, decent priced bike. Road where bike. can people find that Siguro? Like where can they go to like see what bike works best for them? Mm. It really depends on your budget. Mm. Uh decent bikes na like for example if you're planning to buy like a whole bike, uh, I guess Magpapalabas ka ng 40k? Uh, it's ah. the type of that you don't have to change the parts. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, mag upgrade ka na lang if you feel like it. But um, 40k, you can get a solid bike na wala na masyadong problema. Curse kasi, we got for 5k. It's a whole bike. But mm-hmm. medyo sui siya ngayon because the parts are generic. Yeah. And the, so like she has to make a couple of adjustments to her bike. So maybe magkano yung ginastos mo? Uh, well, I'm lucky because because of the collective. Also, we have um, old time bikers, and they have parts that's been stuck with them for so long. Na di naman nila pinipenta, gusto rin naman nila ipamana. So I guess probably even if it's five k, we're with the repairs. We're right now. Yeah, I'm on five, na, seven, seven or eight k gas now with repairs, with changes and everything. It's probably how much I spent. So in total, that would be like 12, 13, 13. Yeah. Oh, uh, Daryl, if I may ask, where did they get your bike from? To to inform our ano lang, audience now where they can go to get their bike. Uh, there's Facebook Marketplace. It's one Facebook of the- Marketplace, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. That's where she was able to source my bike. Yeah. 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 So you just have to know the material of the bike that you want. So since I'm starting out and my bike is steel, it's one of the more affordable, more affordable frames. Okay. So yun, parang from there, dun, dun kami nagbasa na, okay, siguro ito, this will work out. You're strong naman, kaya mo yung buhatin kahit saan. Parang ganyan. So yeah. Um, oh, basically, okay. it depends on the budget. There are bike shops who carry... High end expensive bikes. There are also bike shops who can cater to your budget budget meal. Yeah. Where are the high end bike shops, if you mind me? Oh, can I name can I name a few shops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Dance Bike Shop. Uh Bike Co op. They carry high, really high end really high end. like Pinarello, Cervello, and stuff like that, which costs siguro mga a hundred K and above. That's for the siguro athletes or the really bike enthusiasts na talaga who are willing to shell out a lot of money for the bikes. Um, for budget bikes, I guess um, Kiapo is fine. Kiapo. But I think sold out din yung mga bikes sa Kiapo because of the pandemic. Everyone's on their bikes. Oh, oh, I think this year, the bike business really bloomed, no? It went... <laughs> It surge. I was so happy about it. Like yeah, like, I can imagine. Yeah. The pandemic, but like the fact that people are on their bikes, mm-hmm. yeah. and stuff. And you feel a lot safer riding with a lot of bikes near you. Because parang they, you say whoop whoop or <laughs> you say hi to them, you wave to them. It, that's what I really enjoy about. It. Like when you pass, yeah. Everyone yeah. Bike, you greet them good morning. It's a nice community. Yeah. Uh, how about ano naman? I, I wouldn't want to say low end, but um, for those on a budget, like what, what ano? Where should they go? Kiapo. Sir Kiapo. Kiapo. Yeah. Um, one of my office mates got her bike there for nine k. Okay. It's a, a good commuting bike, na. So if you want. Ah, there's actually ano rin, there's really good deals then on Facebook Marketplace for second hand but really decent bikes. Like this <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. Okay. We'll hear more from Daryl and Maggie when we come back. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Gusto mo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayong October? Abangan at tumutok lang tuwing Sunday, 1 p.m. Dito sa Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music source. At makijam kasama si Ram Martinez, Isotone, at CD and the Years. Ito lang yan sa NAPAM, your new all-pinot alternative music source. Exclusively on Z81 Radio, South Manila. 
Talagang October to remember. Dahil hindi din po huli ang ibang Viva OPM artists na sasabak sa kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs from Home Season 2 kasama si Papa Gio, Yumi Laksamana, Isis, Solstice, Just Rap, and Sabu. Kaya isip niyo na ang mga kalendaryo niyo tuwing Memphis 7pm California time o Huwebes 10 a.m. Pinas time. At samahan si Papa Gio para makipagkulitan, awanan, at kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs from Home Season 2. Dito yan sa V81 Radio, Los Angeles. Now back to Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch along with Daryl and Maggie. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> okay, before we get to the hardest segment of the show, aka the rapid fire, no, I'm kidding. Before we get there, I'd like to ask lang, um, can you give some tips uh, to those who want to start a business or even though cyclists, young cyclists, can you give like a few tips lang? For a business, when you want to start something and you don't have the part for it yet, but you just have to take the job. And then a good foundation of people you trust and you know would back you up when you do this um, service, this business. Because that's it. Like, okay, okay, we're going to do a rate card. But we're not going to do it. We all agree that, okay, we'll, we'll do this properly. We'll, we'll we'll be responsible for this. So just go at it and make sure you can commit. You make sure you can be responsible when you start with it. And then from there, you just have to take it one day at a time. Because parang every day you don't know what needs to be fixed, what seems to be kind of off when you were starting out. And it's always okay to be honest to the people you're servicing them. Um, we're just new, and we're we're, do, we're not. Yeah. We're, we just started this. Um, yeah. I understand, but we'll do our best to fulfill the deliveries for you. You know, it's really more of um, communicating really well, being responsible with it, and committing to it. And ikaw naman magi from the triathlete, triathlete slash professional. <laughs> well, I'm not. To be honest, I'm not really the business-minded kind of girl. Yeah. Um, I just got lucky with this, I guess, because it's something that I'm really into. So it just it just came easy for me to like you know create content, create content for the page, creating the page and stuff like that. Because for me, it doesn't really feel like a business or a work, or work at all because it's something that's natural to me. So. Yeah. I can't really give tips. <laughs> no, no, no. But I get it. Like, um, what you guys are trying to say na parang you build on what you really love and everything will co- follow smoothly. Yeah. Super That's understand. It. When you love sports talaga, everything you do with it, just, the bad, I keep telling myself that, like, sports talaga, you, you can grow so much from it, not just, like, as an athlete, but in many aspects. Yeah. So... I'm really happy for you guys. <laughs> but we'll be going to our rapid fire. So ready na ba kayo? <laughs> Put your helmets on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, wow, my helmet talaga. <laughs> okay. So you guys can just answer anytime. Anyone can just answer simultaneously. That was, ano, you can explain then if ever. Okay, first question. What bike do you guys prefer commuting with? Road bike. Road bike. <laughs> Road bike talaga. Is there a specific brand? Not for me, I guess. I started with a steel bike, so I'm, I'm keeping my steel bike. <laughs> okay. Who's the fastest cyclist in your group? Nico. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy to hear that. My gosh. <laughs> Like, may I ask why? Like, what makes him so fast? Like, did he train for that? Or did he, like, uh... He, his, first of all, his legs. Wow. Strong. Strong. (laughs) Shout out to Nico. (laughs) 
Oh, is, is he ano? Is he uh, a football player? Uh, he started football. Ah, uh, maybe that's why. <laughs> my computer, as in for my a long computer time. lang siya. My computer na siya. So, but um, the thing that makes him stronger is he's really, really enthusiastic about biking. Right uh, now he's yeah. today, I guess. Today, he, did he bike to Tagaytay? Did he bike to Tagaytay? Wow. So, Sino naman yung ah sorry go ahead go ahead. Ano ano ano? naman yung second fastest? Oh my god! Like speed or like fastest? Like oh, if fastest. someone tells you to deliver something, who's like alam mo na mabilis yan pumunta sa destination. We all we all have different strengths kasi. Yeah. So, uh-uh. so, so yeah. Is, but, um, like for example, Nico's really fast. Um I'm more of an endurance girl. Yeah. Okay. Aaron, potential with climbs. I've noticed I'm proud of that. I hate climbs. <laughs> I love climbs. Climb? Yeah. Climb uphill. What? What roads are uphill, Daryl? What where do you go to na my climb? Uh, my daily commute is um passing Guadalupe. So it's a very like, small climb, climb but um, you'll feel it. <laughs> you'll feel it. You'll oh feel wow. It. How did how did you train for that? Like was it something that just came naturally or um it just happened? Uh they they teach me gears, I said. So I I don't know road bikes and I my bike is a classic road bike. Before I did not have the chesty sh- eye shifters. Na isang click palit agad gear. Parang sa akin tinitim ko pa siya dun. So back then, Nico would tell me use big ring and then you'll be fast. <laughs> he gives me that. So parang for a long time, I've been using big ring with that heavy. mindset. It's, it's, heavy. it's super heavy. So parang muscle build and I've been climbing Galing. with. Yeah. Like un- unknowingly, like ganun pala masakit. So parang one day she advised me na take your like take a break, use your small ring, um focus on your rhythm. So I started switching the gears more often and then parang I understand na my commute. So from from there you you really know your climb. Na. You know what's comfortable because it's the same bike but you'd be so surprised how different it can be when you do a proper shifting. Yeah. Okay. How long did it take you to master that, Daryl? I started biking two, two months. Two months. Ah, two months. So did Maggie train you for that, or was it just something you were ah nice? <laughs> you get credit to Maggie. Ikaw <laughs> naman, Maggie. Um, you mentioned kanina na endurance is your um top strength, right? How did you get it? Is it because of like you had that na in you after like being a triathlete, or um, is it something that's built in you na, um, or you still train for that? I guess I've always been comfortable with long rides, so um, mm. not. I mean, it can be a struggle if it's if the route is like uphills and stuff. I really yeah. hate. It. I'm bad at it, but like if you give me a flat road, I can bike. Siguro. 300 kilometers. I don't mind. Just That's how me- far. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. In, we, we play at our strengths yeah. not within the group. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, next question. What's the farthest destination you guys traveled for deliveries? Let's do first deliveries, tapos personal. So, deliveries muna. Anong item na deliver nyo to sobrang layo for you guys, ha? Kainta. Kainta is my delivery. I had to deliver a chocolate bar. <laughs> chocolate bar. Because it's from, from Japan. where to where? Um, Pasig. Pasig. Inner Pasig. I, I'm, I'm not yet familiar with the cities. Because it's Rosario Pasig. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Kainta. Kainta. So if, for us, it's really far because we haven't been around okay. the place. So Daryl, was that your personal farthest then, or? Yeah. Ah, uh, so for deliveries. For deliveries. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. For delivery. Yeah, that was the farthest. Pero um outside of delivery, what's your farthest? Outside. I took her on an 80 kilometer bike ride and then she got fever the next day. <laughs> From where to where? From where to where? I took her to Cavite. From Cavite to I mean Pasig to Cavite. Ah, yun yun, yung yung sinasabi niya kanina. Oh, no, that was the I just took her to a different Ah, route. to a different route. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. How about you naman, Maggie? What's your farthest delivery um service? Like, and what item would you deliver? For me, ha, from point to point, oh my gosh. That was, uh, in Tondo lang actually. But since I don't know Tondo, it took me an hour to find the place mismo. Like, I was just biking around in circles. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> that was far, I guess, for me. Mentally far. Yeah. So how do you guys handle that? You must have been street, super street smart dapat. Kasi parang, kung wala, you're in a place you've never been before. How do you handle like looking for that destination? Like when you're there, how do you find your way around? Google Maps, Street View. <laughs> Google Maps, yeah. yeah. Yes. I guess. My uh, story. Ah, go ahead, go ahead. We usually just study the route before actually. Ah, okay. Yeah. How about your personal record, Maggie? What's your farthest? This includes your triathlon races and your cycling tournaments. It's actually, oh no, I hope my, none of my teammates are watching. <laughs> this is really short. Um, 190, 190. Yeah, that's not even far for other people, but like, yeah. No, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Heaviest item you guys have delivered? Uh, Frozen food for me. Frozen. Frozen food. Yeah, it was six kilos. Six was kilos. From where to where, Maggie? From where to where? Um, it was luckily it was just around Pasig. mga areas in Pasig, so it was like a multiple drop off delivery from one online seller. Mm, okay. How about you, naman, Dario? The laptop. The laptop. A lo- ah, yung love dog. You delivered dog. Oh, yeah. No? A dog. A puppy. A puppy. Oh, no. That's so cute. How did you guys handle that? Um, What breed? I love dogs. I really love dogs. What breed? Shih Tzu. From where to where? <laughs> this is far. Um, so the guy who delivered was Seth. Fixed, one of our fixed gear boys. Um, he came from San Paolo, Manila. Mm-mm. So, Das Marinas, Cavite. And then he picked, the, he picked up the dog there. And then he went back to Makati. Makati. Mm-hmm. So, he just put the dog in his backpack with, with the open thing and everything. Yeah. Buti na lang na ano niya, the, like the dog was able to breathe and the dog was comfortable yeah. naman. Yung head niya actually. So, oh back my. Back. I guess uh, it's safe to say that you guys can deliver anything talaga from food to um bed sheets to um like dogs, <laughs> everything. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, we we'll go to break and we'll hear more from Daryl and Monty. Okay. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Pagpatak ng 7, dapat lahat nakatutok sa amin. Catch these programs at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Talk Shop Asia Global, USA Edition, with Rolly Pagaspas and Rosario Kahukam Brad Perry. Home Not Alone, Sounds From Home, with Papa Gio, and Freedom in Christ, with Felsen. It's all about entrepreneurship, entertainment, and enlightenment. Back to back to back programs at 7. LA at 7. LA at 7. Exclusively on V81 Radio, Los Angeles. 
Are you ready to explore a new kind of music? Yung bang kakaiba na hindi mo pa napapakinggan? Mga bagong artist. Nagugulat sa inyo sa kanilang awit at tugtugan. Discover them, hear them in Napalm Hour. Ang Napalm ay ang new all Pinoy alternative music source na para sa kakaibang musika. Alternative artists and bands all the time. Catch them at Napalm Hour. Mondays through Fridays, 12 noon to 1 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Streaming live on V81 Radio Mobile App. Kaya i-download mo na for free. Now na! Kabayan, nangu-homesick ka ba? I-download na ang aming mobile app at mag-enjoy sa mga kantang takap Pinoy and feel like you're home. The V81 Radio Mobile App, available in the App Store and Google Play Store. V81 Radio Mobile App, free now, free forever. Now back to Sports Watch, all here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch. Let me bring in my guests again, Daryl and Maggie of White Helmet Co. Hi guys, hi again. <laughs> to wrap up lang, uh, I'd like to hear some like encouraging words. How do you guys encourage the youth to get into sports like cycling? <laughs> Go lang. Just like, how would you advise someone to um, get into cycling then. or even road cycling since I'd like to think that's tougher, right? Well, yeah. for starters, I guess one way to encourage people to start biking is you, one of the advantages is you get to go to a lot of places. And um, yeah, it's a really fun thing to do because at the, gala ka ng gala, but at the same time, you shut off the calories if you're yeah. like into that. You know, it's it's biking in general. The bike community is really, really nice. The culture, everyone like it doesn't have to be someone you know. Just it, it can be a biker, a random biker you pass and something like that, and then they greet you good morning, yes. ingat po. Yeah. Oh man, haha, na ng heart. So it, like, yeah, it warms your heart. Yeah. yeah it does, it does. So yeah, um, I guess. If you want to get into it, get into it. You don't have to, you know, it's not something that you should hesitate on because you have nothing to lose naman. I guess you mm. just have to be careful. Yes. Yeah. So, Maggie, uh, I'd like to ask lang, if, like, for example, someone's new in the cycling community, how do they find that community or a group? I mean, of course, besides you guys. <laughs> but, like, how do they reach out to fellow cyclists? Um, well, there are actually a few groups on Facebook, like, for example, Pinoy Road Bikers Incorporated. Mm. A thousand bikers in there. If you hit them up, you know, if you post, like, for example, Hello, um, I'm a newbie, a beginner. Do you have any tips for me? Ang daming mag reply niyan. Everyone is so accommodating. Everyone is so nice. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's it's the people in general. I guess for me, uh, cycling makes everyone friends, <laughs> unite, <Unite>. better. Even <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. sports so, in general also. Like yeah, cycling. Yeah. Yeah, sports in yeah. How about you, naman, Daryl? I think this is a perfect question for you. Because um, you got into road cycling lang like this year, right? So how do you encourage others, naman, then to follow your path, follow your path, <laughs> or like, more so parang, ano, get into road cycling then. Siguro it starts with trusting the road and trusting the cars with you. Kasi yun niya, um, no matter how maingat ka, or no matter how you, you feel na it's scary, you just really have to try and bike to places, and then from there, when mas sanay ka na sa road, you understand how you bike, you understand how the traffic is, you understand how you communicate at the road. Kasi, syempre, you have to learn the basic um, signals. We, we do it manually with our hands, with our 
and shouting, hey, or bike, bike. So parang it's something you just have to really bike to places yes. and have to be How did you um help yourself learn all of that? Like, was it something that you self-studied or something Maggie taught you also? It's a mix. Um, she it's would, a mix. When we would bike, she would lead me and then she would give me the signals and then I would understand. And then from there, parang ikaw rin, when you start leading other people in a group, you're, you're kind of geared towards doing the same for them. So weird. Okay. On the business side of things naman, how can people capitalize on their passions and do something similar as to what you guys did? Like, what, what, how can you encourage them to do so? Parang capitalize on their passion to not even form a business, but you know, to get something out of it besides the sports side of things. Never, never make an idea, like no matter how small, don't, don't lose it as just an idea. Parang mm. if you create the steps to make it happen, just make it happen. I mean, anong mawawala? Okay, it, you have a small idea, you have a career service group, Let's say nobody books you. Sure, nobody books mm-hmm. you now, but it doesn't mean that nobody will ever book you. But you just have to, you just have to wait for the time to, for it to boom or for it to be appealing. Or if not, create ways for it to be appealing. Yeah. How about you, Naman Maggie? What she said. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she summed it pretty well. She summarized it pretty well. So yeah, that that's really great. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh before we go, can you guys ano lang, would you guys like to promote your um rates or um social media? Yeah, there it is. There you go. Oh, yeah. Um so basically we catered our rates to um be cheap. <laughs> yes. Um it's a more affordable. World. It's a competitive rate if you look at the established couriers because hey, we're just bikes eh? so yeah um if anyone wants to book us these are our rates yep we're very fun people <laughs> <laughs> so you can visit our facebook page it's white helmet co and we also have an instagram where you can reach out to us tap us from there you will be able to see our mobile phone numbers we give it out just randomly Message us, call us, send us a message on Facebook or Instagram, and we will be sure to let you like reply to you and process your booking if you have one for us. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much again, Maggie and Daryl. Thank you for coming over and sharing your story. Hopefully, um, our viewers are inspired to do what you guys did and get into sports like cycling. Yay, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Once again, this is your resident sports girl anchor, Nicole Ganglani. Thank you for joining me today. Catch me every Saturday from 11 to 12.30 for more sports action. Get your head in the game and join the tribe every Saturday as we hear the stories of athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from the sports world. Hosted by your resident sports girl anchor, Nicole Ganlani, bringing you sports action on Sports Watch every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Philippine time. Until next time, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Walang kasing saya ang Paskong Pinoy. Dumaan man ang problema at pandemya, kayang-kayang lampasan. Basta't nagdadamayan at nagmamahalan. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko dito sa V81 Radio, South Manila. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits of oh, Pinoy, panalo. Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y mapapakinggan Mapapakinggan Oh, 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 o